In this session, I shall be demonstrating the testing framework modeled in Jira. The aim is to deploy this template across all the GPS test programs with Project Mars piloting the initiative. Let's start with an orientation around the test record to illustrate the use of tabs to group the data fields. So let's go into test scenario one. And don't get too in, in too much into the detail here. Let's just, just check out um, the, the tabs. But with the tabs, you can actually do some editing in this view. And we've got an execution tab. And we've also got our defect triage tab. And again, we can edit in this in this view. Settings, execution and triage. And we'll be exploring those in more detail. We can also go into the edit. And here, this shows all our data fields. Um, we've got the execution and we've got the defect triage again. And later in this session, we'll see how the record tabs relate to the test cycle workflow. Let's now look at an example where the tester is manually creating a test scenario. We're going to create and You'll see that there's only one option for issue type, and in this case, it's test scenario. We enter test number five, which we believe we're creating. Yes, number five. And we're going to assign that to a process module. And also, we're actually going to wave it to a cycle, in this case, cycle one. And we can assign in the screen. And here's some information around the test condition, the test expectation, and what procedure would follow at high level. We also got a URL link there to a detailed test script. And to ensure coverage, we've got references there to the business process document and the requirements document. Now, as you can see, we've actually created that new test scenario. And there it is, test number five. Now we shall look at the mass upload of test scenarios using the Jira wizard to import a CSV file created in, the, uh, in Excel. Here we are creating the file. We'll just save that. And now we're into Jira. Let's import that file we've just created. First, let's choose the file. And there it is, the one we've just created. And we open. And select Next. Now we have to select the project where we want to uh, perform the bulk upload. And click Next. Now we do some mapping here from our CSV file to the Jira fields. Now we can actually automate this going forward um, so we don't have to keep repeating this process. But here we are, we're going to map the scenario ID to summary in Jira, the status. We're going to map to a status. That was an easy one. I'd uh, recommend using the same naming convention to make life easier. I'm not going to do all of these. I just make a, a selection enough to import the information. And then we'll do test type. And that's issue type. And we'll just click or tick the boxes for the import. And these are the values. And next. And there you can see the CSV fields mapped to the Jira fields. Let's begin the import. And 
And now we should see the three records we've created. So let's open. And there they are. The bulk change um, functionality Jira is used to sequence the test scenarios involving the creation of versions to represent test cycles. So let's create test cycle three. A description here. And let's give it a start date. And a release date and add. Let's now go back and let's waive our test scenarios uh, by assigning them to the cycle three. So we tick in the bulk. And we are going to select edit. There's other options there in terms of the bulk uh, change. But we're just going to do editing here. And we're going to now assign those test scenarios to cycle three. Paging all the way down. And you can see send email. Let's remove that. Uh, checkbox because we don't want 300, 400 emails going off. Why Jira puts down there, I'm not sure. And let's now say confirm. Now, hopefully, all of these six have been waived and assigned to cycle three. There we go. Resolutions are a way in which test scenarios can actually be closed. So for instance, testing in progress to closed, the resolution is test successful. Open and testing in progress to closed, the resolution is closed not tested. And we will fully automate these when the, when the transition is selected. On hold to closed is postpone testing and reopen to closed, the resolution is closed and retest. Responsibility can be mapped to a test scenario status. Back to the workflow. Open, retest, in progress and reopen, these statuses are the responsibility of the test team. Defects and triage and unhold, the triage team. And defect in fix is our fix team. A little overconfident there, guys. And we'll be meeting up with the teams shortly. Okay, a day in the life of the tester. At any time in the end-to-end -end test cycle, you can, can call up the workflow schematic to find the you are here location point. Let's take a look at that. So here's our workflow, and this is where we are in progress. So what are the options open to our tester? We can either pass, close not tested, test failed, or defer testing. And at the top of the record there, you can see those transitions closed, closed not tested, defer test, and test failed. In this instance, our test team will select passed. Now this screen now appears where we will capture the test results and our more important uh, attachments to evidence testing. Okay, and now you can see the status, test closed, 
On the resolution, test successful. Let's just check out where we are in the process flow. And there you can see we're in the closed status. Uploading attachments to evidence testing can be a real bind for testers. Now with JIRA, things are about to get really slick. So we've just taken a screenshot. Let's now attach it. Uh, simple paste functionality there. And attach. And our screenshot is taken straight into the test record. You can expand. Flat pack. Okay, let's look at the day in the life of the defect process. This is around passing the ball between the teams. Let's start off with our test team now. The test has failed. And the screen appears now where the tester has to provide as much information as possible uh, for the, uh, the defect team uh, to look at what the issues are and here we can capture screenshots and as much information as possible and the test has failed. The ball has now been passed to the triage team. Let's just check in the workflow exactly where we are. So we're on the defect triage status. So what are the options open now to this team? Either defer testing, or assign to fix. And we're going to assign to fix. The screen now appears where the triage team will give it a category. Um, there will be a narrative, which are instructions to the defect team. And there will be a severity level for prioritization. And of course, the assignment. So it's now with the fixed team. Let's just check out where we are. And the defect is in fix. So what are the options now for the, the fix team? They can either cannot fix or the bug is fixed. And there are the options and the transitions there. So let's go with bug fixed. Now in the screen, the reference to Softion is their own issue resolution management system. So there's a link there. And they're going to actually now put some narrative in to the uh, testers on specific instructions around the retest procedure. And the ball has now been passed back to the test team. As you can see, the status now has changed. Let's look at the workflow again. And we're in the reopen status. So the options are close and retesting full or continue testing. The option has been selected is close and retesting full. So there must be some contamination here around the test. So we're going to start from scratch. So the narrative here is close and retest in full with new test data. So let's, let's close and retest in full. And we can see the test is now closed. Let's just have a look again in the workflow to see where we are. 
and test closed. And the resolution is close and retest. Now let me show you some real magic with the Jira sleight of hand card trick. We're selecting clone and we're actually going to clone now test 5 which failed. Now Jira has the prefix clone, I'm actually going to change that to retest. And let's create a clone. And there, retest, test 5. Now, where's the magic? Let's just drop down to the bottom here. Jira has created an automatic link to the test which actually failed. And we can now jump back to that test. Even though it was closed, we can actually see all the details. This is very powerful, because in cloning, we don't have to copy all the information in the game, it's automatically done for us. And we have these powerful links back to the original test, which failed. So let's just start testing. And now the test is in progress. Dashboards. Well, customized dashboards provide real-time summary information utilizing the Jira gadgets. Let's just start here where we're looking at the whole test program. And you can see for our test, six tests we have, there are two in progress, two tests closed, one on hold, and one in defect fix. If we drop to the next section, we actually can see that where these tests have been assigned to processes, exactly the status of those. In this instance, we only have one, which is the MDM. And in the next section, we can actually see where are the open uh, test uh, scenarios. And that's important from a resource leveling. Let's now look at the defects. We can see that there are actually two defects uh, one on hold and one defect in fix. And we also can see from there the uh, priority in terms of high and medium in this instance. In the next section, it actually shows us where those defects have, are in terms of assignment. And again, very important from resource uh, leveling. And here's very powerful because this is looking now at the status at cycle level. So we had two cycles here, cycle one and cycle two. Uh, two out of five of the test scenarios have been completed in cycle one. And in the next section for those cycles, we can actually see the status of uh, those test scenarios. So the five in cycle um, one, you can see the, uh, the spread in terms of where they are in progress, test closed, on hold, defect in fix. User access and permissions are critical in a multi-client environment. The Jira group functionality is a convenient way of managing project permissions by assigning the test community to specific groups allows us to control the access rights. I shall now demonstrate how these permissions are set up using a combination of schemes and workflow conditions. Okay, let's, let's take a look at the project permissions of the GPS test program. On the left, we see the permission levels and to the right, the groups associated with each of these permissions. As you can see, only the PMO team have admin rights. Similarly, the development team cannot create an issue. Project permissions are also used in workflow conditions. 
For example, the transition between a in progress and closed has a condition attached to it. As you can see, only the users who are members of either the tester or PMO groups have permission to close a test scenario, whereas the development team is denied access rights.